Hi there. This is Tamara Rubin, Lead Safe Mama, LeadSafeMama.com. And I'm here today to talk to you about this Pyrex bottle, which I could have uh, predicted, and I think I did, um, that it would be lead. And basically, this is lead paint. Um, it tested positive for over um, 19,000 parts per million lead. The amount of lead that's considered toxic in a newly manufactured item intended for use by children in the paint or coating is 90 parts per million and up, is, is considered unsafe, illegal, and toxic. But this is paint um, that is on an, an item not intended for use by children, a water bottle, and it is still very high lead at 19,000, which is much, much higher than 90, because one is allowed to poison adults. But actually, that's not the, that's an oversimplification, because <laughs> the question is, will this poison you? Is there the possibility that lead on the outside of your water bottle will poison you? Well, my consideration, a couple of them are, there's an article from a study that was done, I believe in Plymouth, England, um, about the potential implications of lead paint on the outside of glass water bottles and glass beverage containers, basically. They were looking mostly at cups, I believe. And they said it does present, um, re present a potential risk. So, excuse me, tripping up, I'm a little tired. Uh, and so this is um, studied to some degree, at least initially, that there is a potential risk to humans. And then what are you doing with this? This You have this bottle and you're, you're going for a hike and you're taking it with you and your sweaty hands are holding it. And, you know, it wears over time. I have a post on the blog set that says, but it's only on the outside. You know, look up only on the outside and you'll see the post and why it's a problem. But there, the concern is not not for an immediate acute exposure or lead poisoning from it using or touching this. The concern is for what this could potentially add to your environment in microparticulate lead to add to your aggregate body burden, especially if it's something that you use on a regular basis and then if the paint is deteriorating, which it may or may not. Um, and, and so that's the question. The question is, you know, is this going to possibly contribute to your overall background body burden of lead and is lead exposure cumulative? Yes, and it could, you know, it could, and yes, backwards, um, but but no one's studying this. No one cares enough that there's a regulatory demand to study what the potential impact is of lead paint at levels that is known to be unsafe for children on the outside of common household goods like cups and measuring cups and water bottles and even baby bottles. And that's where it's, the argument gets lost. It's like, how can they also allow this lead paint on the outside of baby bottles? I don't understand why the entire planet isn't outraged about that uh, and the milk bottles as well. It's just ridiculous. And so that's why I keep doing this because baby bottles shouldn't be lead painted. And maybe if we can get uh, enough pressure on getting the lead off of these, then eventually lead will be off of baby bottles. Thank you for being here. LittleLeadSafeMama.com.